Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We are the shield bearer, Formicid, of uh, not of Okawaru yet, but we're planning on becoming Okawaru. We are a fighter. We have a mace and a shield. Is that right? Is it a, a flail and a shield? We have no spells. Uh, we're on dungeon level three, although I think we've dipped down to dungeon level four because of a shaft. And we are experienced level six, and we're going to keep going. And I'm, uh, you may notice some background music this episode. Um, I just like, I don't know, after our last conversation, I decided to see what I could do. It's something I've thought about for a while to just like, I don't know, I just played guitar for like eight or nine minutes or something like that, just improvising. And, um, and then I laid some harmonic on top of it, but then I listened to it and decided that might be distracting because um, I tried to listen to it on top of the game. So, uh let me know what you think. If you like the music, if you don't, if you find it distracting, um, I'd just love to know your thoughts. And if you want to hear the harmonica version, we can try that too. Um, it's just in a few parts. Ooh, a rune gilded ring. We have one ring, uh, a bone ring, but we don't know if we have any removed curse scrolls. So we're, we don't want to, uh, ooh, a leopard gecko, no problem. Uh, we don't want to just put anything on willy nilly, not at this point. Um, we're still feeling pretty confident here at Dungeon Level 3, but we always have to be careful. Yeah, there's a lot of folks behind there. Um, and we don't have a lot of, like, get-out-of-jail-free cards or anything like that. Do we have any evocables? No. Um, and we don't have any spells. We just basically have to fight. We can shaft. That's a lot of folks. Um, might feel more comfortable fighting all those things later. Um, so maybe I won't auto-explore right now, and let's go this way. I could just exclude that area. We're wearing boots, so I'm not going to pick those up. Uh, yeah, we got some nice boots. Plus one boots. A whip. Uh, alright, let's go over... over this way. Uh, longsword... Uh, all right, adders are a little dangerous because they can poison you, um, especially early in the game. We don't have, uh, we don't know if we have any, oh, we do, we have one potion of curing. Okay, this should probably be fine. We've got good defense, we've got 9 AC, 11 shield. The shield is pretty great. Uh, we're not hitting it though, all right, there we go. But before we have our poison, which right now, we have nothing. We have no resistances whatsoever. Oh, except we can see invisible because of our antenna. But that's not a resistance. We need resistances. And we're going to be... Especially our poison at the beginning of the game is very important. Okay. Uh, a bunch of jackals. And the, yeah, maybe all those enemies we saw are just easy enemies like jackals. But it could be like an early orc pack. Um or Null Pack or something that maybe we don't want to fight. Especially an Orc Pack that might have, like, an Orc Priest. All right, we're 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 here again. I kind of want to... Actually, we should attack... We should go there from the other side so we can run to an upstair. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, this is much safer. It is Orcs. All right, come at me. Right. Another one. Come up. There's probably at least a mage with them. Hopefully there are no priests. The reason that you're afraid of priests in the early game is because they can smite you. They can call on their god Bio to smite you. And uh, smite, we don't have any... You can't defend against it. It does a lot of damage. And it, all it requires is line of... is. Um, it doesn't require line of sight. They just have to be able to see you on the map. Um, they don't actually need uh, a direct line to, to attack you. If they can see you, they can smite you. And that's very dangerous, because they can do it over and over again. Uh, so we can auto-explore again. Um, and we're done exploring. What was on this level? Anything we care about that I missed? No, not really. Let's head down. We've been down the staircase before. Oh, right. Uh, the ant is uh, can poison you also. So it makes me a little scared. Let's go up. Um, bring this orc with us. Uh, most enemies that are right next to you when you're on a staircase will travel up or down stairs with you. Um, and get a chance to attack you. They'll get an attack of opportunity. 
Uh, I don't want to fight that ant right now, so I'm going to exclude that staircase and go to a different downstair. Okay. This is fine. Hello, who are you? Leopard Gecko, easy. I'm a little nervous. I'm so nervous. You know, even though we're a pretty sturdy character here in the early game, um, and I've beaten the game as a Formicid fighter before, the, here we'll probably see a priest or a, uh, and a wizard. Um, on this level, starting with Dungeon 4. Although we don't see one... No, no none here. Um... Uh, we still, you, I'm still really worried that I'm going to die and early and full and in, in a, in a way that's embarrassing. Oh, um, we do have poison darts. I should be firing those. These things are susceptible to poison. Uh, they, they are fast though. So we can't really run away from them. Um, let's fire another one. Okay, good. And you can eat their corpses. Uh, let's try to get near the stairs. Oh, chapel, no problem. It's probably a pack, right? Pack o jacks. Okay. Uh, let's go up the up the staircase, as we've discussed before. Um, helps travel back. Ooh, that is a that is an ogre. Um, how do I feel about this? Can I poison you? I can. Poisoned you pretty significantly. I'm gonna try. Ooh, all right, we got hit pretty hard, but yeah, a lot of experience. We've reached level seven. Good. Rest up. Um, okay, and uh, we're only training shields and fighting right now, focused on shields. Uh, we're trying to get to skill level 9, which, by the way, so ordinarily, for with most characters, uh, if you have a standard shield, a kite shield, which they're now called, in um, uh, to, to reach the s skill that you need uh, in order to remove the penalty, I think for a standard shield, it's usually 14 or 15. Um, but because we're a Formicid and we have four arms, uh, it lowers that skill. So not only can we use shields with two-handed weapons, which is amazing, but it takes less skill for us to use shields effectively. It's just another reason Formicids are very powerful. Again, the disadvantage of being a Formicid is uh, worrisome. Uh, you know, not really having escape routes like this. I should have... Yeah, all right, I gotta, I gotta focus. I should have thrown some poison darts at this thing before it got close to me. And now we're kind of stuck fighting it. Because this is also faster than we are. Yep. Come on. There we go. Just don't poison me, bro. Okay. That's fine. Uh, is this the temple down here? That could... This is, could very well be the... Oh, that's... It is a temple. It's a shrine to Gozag. But we are not going to be worshipping Gozag. Another ant. Let's try to poison it as it approaches us. Good. And then... There we go. It's it's kind of funny in this game how things that can poison you are often susceptible to poison. Uh, let's get behind here in case there are more. Uh, skeletons, ske like skeletal and zombie versions of creatures are usually easier. They don't have the special abilities that the regular versions usually have. Um, so like a zombie adder can't poison you. Zombie centaurs don't. Uh, fire arrows at you, for example. Um, okay. Auto explore. Uh, yeah. Follow me behind here, please. Where I will destroy you. A falcon of protection. Um, and a scroll of identify. Nice. And a potion. Uh, we have scrolls of identify. Right. Let me read that on one of these here. Potions. Ambrosia. Ambrosia regens you, but also makes you confused. So it's kind of a last-ditch effort to survive a situation um i kind of do i feel like maybe on dungeon four when we're done with this level we should um Ooh, i don't like the scorpion um maybe i'll try atropying it atropying it there we go nice 
Scorpions are pretty dangerous early in the game because they can poison you. And I think they are... Actually, they might not be fast. Maybe I could have run away. Um, but it's good to read scrolls when you go down... Oh, yeah. Last episode, I think I said, oh, I, let's uh, let's read the scroll here in case it's a teleport scroll. We can't be teleported. I think there was another time last episode where I was like, oh, we want to make sure that monster doesn't walk in that dispersal trap so we would get, uh, like, blinked somewhere. But we can't be blinked. So I don't need to worry about either of those things. Um, we can throw a, We should throw away all of our teleport scrolls. Uh, we can walk into teleport traps. They won't do anything to us. Like there, as I said it, we stumbled into a teleport trap, but we feel a strange sense of stasis. So it didn't do anything to us. That's hilarious. Uh, a pitchfork? Uh, not a pitchfork, a trident. Uh, good weapon. Uh, better than the flail. It's a pole arm. Uh, it's also a one-handed weapon. I think we really want to focus on two-handed weapons if we can find one. Um, since we can use them with a shield. I think we're fine with the flail. The flail is, I think, the same kind of tier as a uh, trident is. That's a hand crossbow, which would, I, it, you know, in a regular game, a hand crossbow is the only kind of uh, bow weapon that you can use with a shield, but we don't care about that. We could use longbows, uh, crossbows. I think we have... Um, uh, yeah, we're not good at bows, but we're decent at crossbows. And we actually have uh, aptitude for slings. Another scorpion. Let's just try to poison it from afar. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. And then I can just walk away and it died. Uh, and our first spell book. Oh, uh, the Book of Frost. Okay. Uh, how is our ice magic? It's okay. Our ice magic is fine. Do we want to learn any of these spells? Um, ice spells are pretty good. Uh... Frozen Ramparts, I find... I don't know... I don't, I've never used it really before this version, nor have I seen a lot of uh, Let's Plays of people being Ice Mages. So I don't know how powerful this spell was before. Maybe it's always been this powerful, but it's it's pretty nice. Basically, if you're next to a wall and you have Frozen Ramparts on, um, the walls turn to ice and you're, all the enemies around that area just take constant ice damage. Uh, Ozukubu's armor is actually also really nice uh, for when you're just kind of, like, stuck uh, in a place. Although probably not as important for us since we have good AC already. Um, but when you're just, like, not moving and fighting a bunch of enemies, it's nice. Um, I kind of want to learn at least one of these so we can start training some ice magic. Uh, summoning might be useful for us. Ice Beast might be useful. Um, I don't think we need Freeze. Well, I, I mean, Freeze wouldn't be too bad. But I'm kind of into the idea of frozen ramparts. I think it might be a nice supplemental thing for us to do while we're killing folks. Um, let's do it. Let's memorize frozen ramparts. And start training some ice magic and some spell casting. Um, we still want to train our shields up. I'm not going to focus spell casting or ice magic. And in fact, I think I will put a cap on our spell casting. Um, just get it to like level three. Same with ice magic. And then stop training it. Um, you can set targets with the equals uh, key. Okay. I didn't get any feedback on the length of the video, but I think these videos, at least for now, they'll probably be around half an hour in length. I think that'll be fine. All right, we're almost done with this floor. Hello, Leopard Gecko. Come to me. Perish by my hand. Okay. Uh, anything we missed? I guess we could use the Falcon of Protection. That's not a... I mean, it gives us a little more armor class. Um, let's check that out, actually. Because uh, it might be kind of not too different than the weapon we're using. Let's take a look. So our Flail does base damage of 10 with a delay of 1.4, and accuracy is standard. Uh, base damage of 10. Whereas the Falcon does less damage. It's a faster weapon and a more accurate weapon. Hmm. I think... You know, I think I'm going to stick with the flail. The, the plus one of protection, it's not... Not that important for us. We've got good AC already. I think it's fine. Uh, Alright, let's go down. And this time, let's start reading some of the scrolls. Some of the scrolls that we have duplicates of. Um, immolation... 
Okay, we found Remove Curse. Good, that's really what I wanted. Um, bone Ring. A Ring of Strength. Very nice. And a Ring of Ice. So when it, a Rings of Ice or a Ring of Fire, as opposed to protection from ice or protection from fire, they give you protection from that thing, but they also make you weaker towards the opposing class. So Ring of Ice, if we look at our abilities now, it gives us uh, some resistance to cold, but makes us vulnerable to fire. So this is the kind of ring you don't want to be wearing all the time. We're going to take it off, but we'll want to slip it on our finger or whatever kind of digits formicids have uh, whenever we uh, are fighting ice enemies. Um, ball pythons can't poison you. They constrict you. This should be fine. Uh, hello there. A bullfrog. Bullfrogs are a little dangerous. They're fast, too, aren't they? Yep. Um, and they, I think they can poison us. Let's try to poison it. Oh, see, it's already up to us. All right. That was all right. We got a point of strength. More bullfrogs. Okay. Uh, let's wait until healed. Uh, hound should be fine. It's, it's yellow, but... Six damage. Yeah, and it's fast. It, it's fine for us. Doesn't Can't poison you. If it can't poison you, I'm not that scared about it, unless it does massive damage. Centaurs. Um, we have a shield, but we don't have reflection. Let's. Uh, you don't want them to attack you at range. You want to attack them in melee range. So, Because then they can't shoot arrows at you effectively. So they're pretty easy up this close. But if they can, if they're in a position where they can keep firing arrows at you, they can do tons of damage. All right, let's rest up. I saw a scorpion over there. I think that's probably it. Yeah. All right, double poison. That'll kill you. Okay. Um. So a short bow. You're right. We're not good at bows. I don't think we're gonna pick one up. Um. I guess we could get a sling or something like that. But I think for the beginning of the game, I'm fine throwing uh, darts. And I think I would probably rather wait till we find something cool. Um, and if we can get like a like an arbalest or something, which is a um, or some kind of two-handed. Oh, ow! See, here we go. That's a centaur, and we don't have cover, but fortunately we have a stair here. Uh, so we're gonna go up this stair, uh, not go back down it at least until that centaur is dead, and see if we can't find another way to approach that centaur. So let's. We're just going to ignore it for now, but hopefully when we come back that way, we'll remember. Um, Shadow Imp should be fine. Yeah, let's go up this. Just so we know where it comes out. Um, yeah. Keep going this way. All right. I think if I auto-explore, it'll go this direction. Oh! This is where we saw the centaur, and he is not here anymore. Uh, the this, this shield can't be better than our shield. Our shield looks awesome. Uh, again, the the uh, zombie version of the ant can't poison you, so we're not afraid. Hmm. I don't like this, because there's not a lot of cover. But, okay, jackal's no problem. Come at me. All dead. Where did that centaur go, though? Centaur. Hello. Uh, the centaur... Ooh, that hurt more than I thought it would. Do I need to do anything here? I think it just got a good hit on us. How much damage can it do? 15. All right, so it would need to hit us three times. Yeah, usually it's not... I think it just got lucky. Um... Okay. Uh, the centaur probably is in, in an area that we've already explored. I'm going to put Auto Explorer back on. Hello, Ogre. Ogre is no longer marked as red. Oh, I should uh, poison you. That's what I should do. Oh. And then walk away a bit. Take, yeah, I'll just hit it. Ooh, hit it again. Nope. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um... And I don't suppose we can cast that spell yet. Yeah, 71% chance of failure. 
because that would be nice right now. Honestly, uh, that armor spell, we, we, we will probably want to learn it if we can't, if we don't have, um, at some point. Um, this is probably okay, but I, I'm pretty nervous. You can do 17 damage plus your club. Um, can I see what the club does? I don't know what it does. Um, but probably a bit. I can hit you at least one more time pretty safely. Locked. Eh. And again. All right, good. I got a little nervous. Um, I'll tr what we would have had to do is either shaft or ran just like kind of like danced around a column because it's not faster than we are. Uh, it might be able to hit us sometimes, but basically run around until either we get... Um, when you're when you're walking, sometimes you get a burst of energy or monsters do, in which case they could attack you. They could get a hit on you. But you can also get away from them by that same token. If we can get a square away from them, we could get up the stair. We probably would have done that if he hit us one more time. There's the centaur. Um, and it is faster than we are. And again, we're in a position where we don't have a lot of cover. Um, I'm going to retreat down and kind of walk to where this downstairs is. Oh, it didn't see us. Okay. I think what I might do is hide behind here and yell for attention by hitting T and then T again. And we shout. Shout again. Shout for attention. Centaur. Hello. Come at me. Mm. I don't like that. He didn't hear me. Oh, is that the temple? I think that might be the temple, finally. Teleport traps. We don't care about those. There you are. Get over here. Ow. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think the bullfrog's too much of a threat. All right, we killed the centaur. Oh, this is, I think this is just a temple of Zom. Or shrine of Zom. A staff of earth... Um, you know, because we're good at earth magic, I don't know, it might be, we'll take it for now. Uh, when you have the staff, uh-oh, we're ant. Oh, we're marked. I didn't see that. When did we get marked? Was that a trap? I did not see that. A sentinel's mark. Yeah, it was an alarm trap. We stepped on an alarm trap and I didn't notice. So all of the enemies on the map now know where we are and are going to come for us. Fortunately, we've already explored most of the map. I will just throw some poison darts at this thing. And then there we go. Um, yeah, there really shouldn't be many enemies here. Still, I'm going to back up to the stair. And we'll just wait a little. Rest will heal. Yeah, I didn't even see any enemies. Any enemies. I think we've killed them all. So we'll walk on these teleport traps and they just disappear. Same with these dispersal... Yeah, walk into the dispersal trap does nothing to us. It might disperse um, monsters, which could actually be effective for us. Um, if we're uh, in a fight with someone we don't want to be in a fight with, usually you wouldn't want to walk into a dispersal trap because it could put you in an even worse position tactically. But not us. With us, it would just blink monsters away and not us. Um, yeah, this is an altar of Zome. Lots of altars of Zome. Who is the, like, god of chaos? Um, okay, it's fine. Let's go down. Do we want to read any more scrolls? Probably. It would be nice to get figure out what magic mapping is. There's amnesia. We're not going to forget the one spell that we have. Um, let's read uh, you. Enchant armor. Um, hmm... Maybe the boots, because it's unlikely we're going to get fancy boots anytime soon. So we'll keep that extra AC around for a while. Um, I don't have any other duplicate scrolls. This is fine for now. Um, I could read uh, Identify to read these potions. Potions of Resistance, that's nice. And how about the White Potion? A Potion of Haste, which does not affect us. So let's just uh, drop that. I don't know why I'm using my mouse um, to scroll down. The Potion of Haste. Drop it. Okay. 
I think these episodes, I think it's probably going to take me a longer amount of time than other DCSS players. I should just say crawl. Than other crawl players, probably because I'm, I think I'm trying to be overly cautious. Um, and I still don't know what I'm doing like a lot of other players do. Oh, now I'm starving. That's not good. All right. Eat rations. We got a wand of flame. Hello, bullfrog. Can I poison you before you get to me? I can. Okay. And who's behind here? Oh, an adder. All right. I think we can probably tough enough to just take you now. Yeah. We are level eight. Um... Oh, we got ice magic and spell casting. And our shields. So we're only training fighting right now. Wow. Our shield, uh, we no longer have a penalty for shields. That's great. I would like to train some armor, I think. Um, probably for a while. Maybe till seven. And I think we do want some more spell casting and ice magic. We have an evocable now, but it's just a wand of flame. That's not very powerful. Um... Yeah, 54%. Let's let's just more ice and spell casting, I think. Um let's get them I guess we'll get them both up to six. Uh okay, I accidentally hit five, but you know what? Five is fine. <laughs> and we'll see how fast that goes. It's not bad that all of our skills were going into fighting. Ooh, I'm a little worried about what, what's in there. That might be the temple. Um let's try to Approach that area from another angle if we can. Hello? Jackals. Jackals in the corridor. Uh, the centaur can't fire at us through the jackals, so this is pretty safe, actually. Um, I don't know why we can't hit the jackals. There we go. And now we'll kill the centaur. Good. Butcher all your corpses. Yeah, I'll fight whatever you are. A crimson imp. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, more strength, please. That should also slightly increase um, our spell casting because it lets us be able to wear our armor without so much of an encumbrance penalty. Okay, a lot of enemies in there. Centaur skeleton cannot fire arrows at us. Um, let me try to poison the adder. I missed and hit the gecko. That's fine. None of these enemies are particularly tough. Um, but I'm not excited about fighting all of them. The iguana is probably the toughest thing here. All right, we're poisoned. I don't like that, but as long as we're not, yeah, that should, we're. I think we're gonna be fine here. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all okay. Okay. Kill you. And rest till healed. Good. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like a centaur and an ogre. Um, at all. Uh, so our spell is actually, it has a high failure rate, but it's, it's yellow and not red. So a miscast won't be that devastating. I'm tempted. Let's see, miscasting will cause magic contamination and deal damage. Although I, I think that's mostly only if it's a red miscast. I think we might be okay. And I can take 17 damage. Let's try to cast it here. That might help our situation. Um, I missed. Let's try one more time. There we go. See what it does? It's back up. Back up again. Attack. Uh, I think I do want to attack the ogre first. Yeah. Oh, this is a good spell. All right, it already... We don't... It, it didn't last very long. But now now I feel like we can safely do this fight. Nice. Uh, hello, orc. Goodbye, orc. Um... Okay. Come fight me. I don't like fighting two ants at once. We did get poisoned. Um... Ramparts! Nice. Although I do want to run away from whatever else is coming, because we are poisoned. Let's let's just run back to the stair. Rest up here. Okay. There's the temple. Let's get our god. 
about time. I think the temple uh, can appear up to dungeon level, like from dungeon level 3 to 7, so it is kind of late. But that's okay. We're going to get our piety up pretty fast. So that was me exploring the entirety of the temple. Um, and let's go to, hopefully, Okawaru is in this temple. It is. So here's Okawaru. Uh, before long, we'll be able to get um, some abilities from him. Uh, then ammunition, which will be nice when we start using a ranged weapon, which we probably will at some point. Speed up the combat later, and then... Finally, when we get really high piety, we're going to get artifact equipment like nobody's business. Join it. And you just, uh, you get piety with Okawaru just by killing, killing enemies. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, I want to, you know what? So I think that's a good place to call it. So we are now officially a formicid of Okawaru, as you can see in the top right. Um, and that'll be nice to get those skills up. Those skills, when we're able to cast them, uh, which we should maybe train a little bit of invocations for to increase their... Yeah, and we're actually pretty good at evocations too. Uh, let's just get it up till, you know, I'll look up to five. Um, that will increase how long those special abilities to, like, haste ourselves and increase our offense and defensive abilities, which Okawaru grants us, how long those things last when we cast them or when we invoke them. Um, so we will train that up because we're not training a whole lot right now and nothing's that critical. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty good. I, I'm still having a lot of fun playing this with you. I enjoyed playing. I enjoyed, I really enjoyed it. And um, I will see you next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>